and welcome to Lily. Now this time I'm going to be sharing with you our winter themed funneling activities. So the first thing I'm going to show you is some of our sensory box items that we're going to be using. So we've got these blue beads um, for water, got some green because obviously mix them the two. And then we've got these white little hearts which are going to be icebergs. <laughs> we have got some uh, snow, so some fake snow. And then a little blanket. And then these little snowflake snow and um, this was actually from Halloween but I kept it because it's all soft and fluffy so we can use that. We've got these indoor snowballs, some regular cotton wool and then we've got some kinetic sand, sparkly white and I've got this little play-doh set, sparkly snow dome set and then we've got this um, Percy the Penguin game so it's like a fishing game, fish with magnets and then we've got this snowball slam challenge for the cups so those are all our little sensory fun game things game activities and things and now i'm going to show you books and then on to the printables oh and we've got our animals as well obviously we'll just pick out the appropriate ones <laughs> i completely forgot as well to show you the hiding these aqua beads uh, so i'll just pick out the white and blue ones don't be fooled by their size now they get huge <laughs> so that's for a fun uh, sensory box as well okay so these are some of the books that we have so we've got this one all about bears and penguins antarctica we've got the magic school bus presents polar animals and then this fun lift the flap and turn things book just so fun she had that when she was a lot younger but she still likes to have a look at it so here's a quick look inside some of them these are the little Osborne beginner readers. Penguins and bears. So that's for when we're doing all the polar region aspects. Then we've got the Osborne Little Flap picture atlas, and this has Antarctica in it. That's right on the right page. So it's right on the back here, so she can lift all the little flaps for Antarctica. The Osborne Children's Encyclopedia has a icy world. Um, section. I'll just get to that now. There we go. And there's a internet link as well. And then this children's picture atlas has a little fact section about the polar regions. So different animals where you can find them, people who live there. You know, onto the printables. So we've got a few here. I've tried to categorise them. So these are all science things, and we've got some math, some busy bag type activities, uh, some more, and then we've got some crafts and some games. And then we also have. Um, I've also got my plan for the winter theme, which I'll show you as well. Stop between winter, uh, the polar regions. Um, so I'll just show you them all as they are. So we've got hibernation. So this, well, this is a little study for us to do. So why do animals hibernate? Who actually does and who migrates? Some little different crafts in here. Where do I sleep? And then there's a little book as well that she can colour in. And what I thought we'd do is use up these little beds. These are Sylvanian family beds. And she can choose from the animal box and decide who goes to sleep for the winter and obviously she know that they don't sleep in a bed <laughs> this is just purely for fun and we'll talk about where they actually do sleep but then once we decide who actually does hibernate then she can tuck them up in bed i just thought it'd make it fun okay so this is penguins mostly so we've got the penguin word bank and then there's all these different sheets that she can fill out with information in fact she's found out from reading about penguins for a few different ones in there and then we've got pick a penguin and we can learn a bit more about them and we're going to use uh we've got some little penguin figures that we can use for this and then there's a little penguins lay eggs and chicks so she can write it a labeling one and then just little exercises that she can do So you can actually also watch the webcam for penguins, which is really neat. And then you can compare them, draw a penguin. And then this is just an idea of some crafts that you can do. So emperor penguins can be as tall as this, 48 inches. And there's an idea to draw 
the penguin out and then the children can measure themselves against the penguin which I thought was a really cool idea. Okay, now moving on to polar bears. Um, so this is a, again a little craft you can make uh, with facts. So she can read the, the polar bear books and we can learn some facts about polar bears and write them on. And then here's the stencils to actually make it into a craft. The children can cut out and colour or paint and then make this little fact book about polar bears. And then we've got another penguin craft that she can do. So here's the little uh, penguin that you will make and then again it's one of those where you can put extra information about them. So you've got your labelling all about penguins, they can, they have, they are. So some, there we go, extra pages that they can write as well. A little book that she can colour in, so who lives in the Arctic. All the different animals that live there. And we've got the tube Arctic set, so she can use those to understand who they all are. Well, that'd be fun to do. And we've got the polar animals snow globe habitats. So we can use the tube again, the tube arctic set. There's some writing there, and then there's also some pictures of the wall of the actual animals. Walrus, arctic fox. Again, so you can colour them in. Which is really fun. I really enjoy those. And she wants to write anything about the animals that she's learned about. So again, this is a matching one, so she can match, you can cut them off and they, she can match the name to the animal. I'm using the tube as um, a guide, and then I've got another penguin labelling one. And then some arctic cards, which again you can use with the tube set. So a few things you can do with these, obviously you can just match them up to the tube set, or you can do a, turn them over and do a memory game, find where they all are. And then also you can do the match the name to the picture as well, so you can cut those bit off. And also it's vocabulary as well, so they could use some of these words to write in their polar activity sheets that you saw earlier. We've got some more fact sheets about different types of penguins. And I will explain that not all penguins live in Antarctica as well. Here then there's this little camouflage activity, so explaining why they change colour. And then she can cut them out and stick them on the right side. And again, this is another activity that you can use with the Arctic tube set. So who lives on land and who lives in the water. And then I've got this little fun facts book. Again, with all different information in there that she can use when she's writing about all the different animals. Where they live, what they eat. How they reproduce. I thought that was fun. And moving on to some mass activities, I've just got some little snowflake manipulatives that we can use amongst other things. Now as I've said before in previous videos, we always do our normal curriculum as well. This is just extra and fun, reinforcement and fun basically. So we've got some winter uh, skip counting cards. So there are counting by tens, twos and fives and there's all the number grids here. And then there's a little activity. Um, recording sheet if you want to do that as well and then here are all the winter themed cards that she can use for a skip counting okay this is a fun little ice skating game so choose an ice skate color and keep it on the spot of, on the floor and then spread all number words out take choosing take turns choosing a number word and if you read the word correctly um, you can keep the word by your skate but I thought what we'd do is we'd skate to it with the pretend skate so skate to the correct Number. It's just reinforcing the um, number words. This one's just practicing tally uh, marks. So they're all winter snowflake themed. And then she can write down what the number is for the tally. And then we've got some addition that you can self-check as well because you can fold them over. And then we've got some Valentine ones because obviously February is Valentine's Day and it's still winter so you can use a Valentine's hole punch this is to hole punch the right answer um, with little hearts and then you can write it as well. 
And we've got Anna adding up sweethearts so you can use those little sweetheart candies to do some addition. A sticker one. And we've got some Arctic Animals clip cards that she can clip on or use one of the Arctic manipulatives for the right answer. And then we've got again some more tallies to practice and we have got a polar animals measurement so she can use her cubes to measure the specific animals from the polar region and she can record it on a sheet. Okay, so now we've got some busy bags. So we've got some of these little um, cotton swabs that you can use to make the snowflakes. Um, we've also got lots, tons of um, cutting sheets in here for, to practice with her scissors and also some vocabulary as well. We've got a little sightword snow globe game that she can match up. There's a polar bear word search in there and some labelling. So here's all the pieces in the back that she can label the snowman. We've got some vocabulary that we can use in our pocket chart and she can write it on. And then we've got some dressing up to dress them appropriately for the winter. Printed off this cute little polar bear breakfast idea. Now we are doing quite a few different sensory boxes and these are perfect for sensory box activities because you, because you can hide the cards in the sensory box and to find. I have some addition ones. And then we've got uh, making the number, some subtraction, more addition, some um, <clears throat> matching pictures to the words. I'll just get that out. So some polar bear matching with the correct word. They're all CVC words. We've got some sight word matching the marshmallows to the cups. Again, you can use real marshmallows if you want to as well. And we can put all these in our sensory box. This is a rhyming puzzle set. Um, again, perfect for sensory box. And then we've got rhyming polar bears. The craft ideas that I printed off. So this is a snowflake bead threading one. Um, what I really like about these is they have all the instructions laid out so your children can follow the instructions, which is really good practice. Um, we've got some footprint snowmen, um, a winter snow globe, and then this cute little snowman with scarf craft that they can do, and then a snowman clock craftivity that they can do. And then we've got some games that they can do. So this is a snow game, so you move your counters around snowman snap kind of game then these are really cool you can put them into the um class and loads of dice so all different make a snow angel so really using the gross motor they roll it and then do the action and then another sight word game this is a little number puzzle one and then we've got another one of those dice games that were so fun and an arctic sight word game and then these are all arctic themed, but things like hop like an arctic hare, walk on four legs like a polar bear, turn your head like a snowy owl, wriggle on your belly like a harp seal, which is <laughs> lots of fun, stomp your feet like a caribou, I think there's one more hiding, uh, flap your wings like an arctic tern, just so much fun. The dice are really great for that. Okay, and what I do is in my um, month at a glance I put some of the activities that we're going to be doing um, so because there isn't usually space in my lesson plan I have usually filled those up so I'll put this for our fun uh, extras that we do that aren't part of our curriculum so as you can see I've got some of those um, water weather cycle uh, weather cycle water cycle that we did in our weather unit and cloud craft anyway and um, we're still doing a few of those they are the ones in red and then I've started marking on some of our sensory box activities I will mark on when we'll do these as well but it's all flexible if you can't do it one day we'll just move it along there's no it has to be on this day we can, we're very flexible so for example we've got the Katie in the big snow book and then a Katie sensory box which I am going to do all the fake snow in and a snow plow we've got a winter tinker tray um, so all the kind of different marshmallows and lollipop sticks uh, cotton swabs, everything else that she can build with, um, winter themed. Then we've got a winter touch and feel book craft, which I think is going to be so fun. I saw the, an idea on Pinterest of making a winter themed um, touch and feel book. Now my daughter still really loves those books. But not only that, now that she's a little bit older, she can actually choose the words and the pictures and everything else and we can make it. So we've got some felt and things that we can use. So that'll be really fun. Then we've got a puffy snow paint craft, a cotton wool sensory box, and I'll use one of those um, cards that are from there to pop in. We've got some snow dough which we'll make and what I do in my notes section is I just write what kind of materials I need if I don't have them up to hand. And then again moving on to February so we've got a polar bear 
plate craft, so we can make a pole out of a plate. A polar, a polar sensory box, so things like the aqua beads, um, that foam soap that you can manipulate, um, the little beads, the iceberg, uh, little white uh, heart icebergs, all your animals in there. Uh, lots of fun. So a blubber experiment, so if you can understand how they keep warm, which is really easy to do. Put your one hand, um, feel, feel, don't like they dunk their hand in, but you know, put your one hand into some icy water so they can see how cold it is, and then on the other hand, put your hand, uh, some margarine or some butter on your hand into like a little plastic glove, and then put your hand in, and then they can see how it helps keep them warm. Um, some polar region, dramatic place area, so a little tent and you know all the food and everything else that they would eat. Um, we've got a cup pop, polar bear, cotton wool craft, a polar bear hand craft, and then we're moving on to penguins. So we're doing a penguin penguin sensory box that I plan to do with ice, um, and then freeze penguin craft where we actually put the penguins into the ice and freeze them. And then we've got aqua bead sensory box, and then what I'll do, as I said, is I'll just fill out all the extras that all these activities on to dates when I think we can do them and that'll be us for our winter theme so I hope that was helpful let me know if you've got any questions as I said all the principles were free online uh, my go-to places Pinterest teachers by teachers and then I follow a lot of um, educational bloggers and often they post freebies and I'll print them <laughs> if I think they're a theme that will be coming up or we are currently doing that's always worth watching out for so that's everything thanks for watching take care see you soon bye for now